Hi friends, welcome to another daily Bitcoin review. Today I want to talk about some really interesting stuff is going on with Bitcoin. And today exactly I want to talk about my favorite condition uh, because in trading I'm using a complex approach. So uh, this is one of the, my favorite indicator which one uh, signals us to make some decision on the market. So in this video you I will share this indicator for you and show you what's going on in the market. So end of this video you will have a clear understanding about the market where it is and what we are expecting for right for the next coming months right so i want to say that uh, you need to watch this video till the end because this information is really really important and this information is really helps you to trade and helps you to make really clear good decisions so this is why it's important to watch this video till the end to not miss any information which one i'm gonna say over here because the technical analysis is something what you need to hear from the beginning to the end and especially today so uh once again i want to repeat that in trading i'm using the complex approach and minimum four or five conditions should to match before i enter in trade and this is really important and today we're going to talk about one of the, my favorite ones so let's go to the market right now let's open the bitcoins charts and let's talk about what i'm talking about today so today i'm going to talk about the fractals right and this is a really really difficult topic which one i want to uh, make it super simple for you to understand i will try to use it the simple language as possible as i can right without the complicated words or something like that and show you what i mean by combination of that first of all what i want to mention that fractals i'm using in the complex i'm not just trading the fractals i'm using the wave theory plus fractals plus fibonacci's and plus mfi those combinations for me are like kind of the best combination and this is my my trading system this is how i'm using and there have still some indicators as a macd and etc etc but those three are really really massive is the fractals waves plus fibonacci so today some hour of the fractal show us uh, i want to show you the why I treat that we will uh, where the price will go so basically let's try to break down this uh, first of all we are in the bear market here's the wave a b and C. This everyone knows that my scenario over here. What I'm looking at the market. Let's check the levels for wave C is around 12k. As I remember, wave beginning of the wave A by Fibonacci, end of the wave A by Fibonacci, and end of the wave B. So minimum levels for wave C is 1 1.2 by FIBA. So uh we can see that we didn't touch that level so we have all moral rights that in wave c didn't finish five impulsive waves so it means we didn't touch that levels and we have all moral rights to say that we are still in the beer market so our main target main target is around twelve thousand dollar minimum and um around like five thousand and lower but the minimum is twelve thousand dollar where we can say that the bear market officially can possibly finish but before it happens we uh, don't have any confirmation to say that bear market finished yet so uh let's try to break down this wave c and as i mentioned in the old videos before this is wave one here two three four and five so wave three confirms with a splash of volumes the highest splash of volumes wave four confirms with divergence between let me clean this scenario over here so no, no, let me come back uh, let me clean this one. So wave four confirms with divergence, divergence between price and volumes. You can see the volumes are decreasing and price is rising. This is uh, typical wave four. Plus, if you take a Fibonacci beginning of the wave three, end of the wave three, you can see the minimum levels for wave four is 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So we can mark that levels and can see that we touched that levels and exactly we are we we were in the zone of high attention and we had some kind of reversal. So it happened exactly and right now. We are expecting of the wave five right now it's getting more interesting what i mean by that right and i want you clearly right now listen me listen to me really clearly i will try to explain you the what is the fractals how it works and etc 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 so let's first of all check our main target as a wave five and let's see uh, does it match with uh global scenario which one by wave c's minimal levels right so if we take a fibonacci beginning of the wave one end of the wave three and the end of the wave four let me mark this like this yep yeah. so we can see that um minimum level for wave five is 0.6 by fibonacci over here so is around eleven thousand six hundred. let's mark these levels with the horizontal line uh make it let's not red let's make it green like this so this is our main target 
uh, by Fibonacci 0.6 is the levels where we're expecting and you can see that it's clearly matched with the minimum levels for wave C wave 5 matched with it uh, so what does it means it means the everything what we treat goes really really harmoniously I like this scenario very much so right now let's deep dive and let's let me teach you how I do recognize that wave 1 happened second wave and what we are expecting third fourth and etc etc first of all uh, we saw that uh, wave 4 had clear structure over here we can see the wave one a b and c right so uh listen to me right now clearly this is really really important to understand where the price co goes how i analyze the market this information will help you a lot to earn money right now so listen to me clearly so wave A, we can see uh, five impulsive waves. Wave B, we can see A, B, C over there. And right now we are interested about the wave C, this wave C. Look at this, how it's beautiful uh, comes. Uh, let me break down this wave C, first of all. Uh, let me clean the global scenario and let me break down. First of all, here's the wave one, two, three, four, and five. What I wanna say here, First of all, wave C matched with the strongest resistance uh, in the history of Bitcoin, plus the zone of high attention in the wave 4 globally, right? And plus what you can see, that wave 3 has a most splash of volumes, you can see it clearly over here, right? Wave 4 is a wrong correction, it's like a uh, bull flag, right? You can clearly see that. And, as a, uh, and also if you're gonna check the levels for wave 4, put on the beginning of the wave 3, end of the wave three and the minimum levels for wave four what it was 0 0.5 0 0.6 so we exactly touched that levels and we saw some reaction right this is really really beautiful so wave five uh, worked harmoniously and very very beautiful so and right now where is it getting beautiful we take a Fibonacci and check the waves uh, level for wave five to say because wave C is impulsive wave. Remember, impulsive waves should to have five impulsive waves inside. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. So let's take a Fibonacci, put on the beginning of the wave one, end of the wave three, and end of the wave four. And what can you see here very, very clearly? That wave five matched with the 0.6 levels. As I say, uh, fifth wave is a uh, levels for wave 5 is 0 0.6 exactly we saw that we touched that price let me clean this global scenario we don't need any more look at this look at this beautiful stuff that we touched the 0.6 levels right and exactly from that levels we saw some kind of reaction so we have right now listen to me clearly we have all moral rights to say that here wave C finished we had all uh, inside structure of this ABC here is clear and very very beautiful it goes very harmoniously so what is next after this so as we can see the abc finished what we are expecting yes global scenarios on the global picture we are expecting impulsive wave here's wave one two three four and what of course fifth wave this fifth wave we are expecting and this fifth wave we're gonna trade we mark that levels 11,600. We make the main target, right? And plus what we are what we are uh, expecting from wave five. Let me clean this picture. So everybody with me right now. Everybody understand that here we touched that levels and wave four officially finished with this wave five. It touched 0.6 levels and everything went super super harmoniously. So we confirm that wave four finished over here. So we have all moral rights to say that. Uh, wave 5 is impulsive wave, L listen to me clear again, wave 5 is impulsive wave and uh, it has 5 impulsive waves inside. Look at this, here the wave 1, and this is wave 2 and wave 3, 3, 4, 5 doesn't matter, we don't know yet. Uh, how I do recognize that this is the wave, uh, second wave and this is the uh, first wave, right? So, first of all, we need to see five impulsive wave in the structure of fifth wave is impulsive wave. So here's the one, two, three, four, five. This is what we are expecting. This is what we are waiting for. That's all. Uh, let me clean the global scenario and let me deep dive on the daily time frame, break down really, really strong theory. First of all, uh, we are looking for fractals right now. One of the confirmation, the fractals. What is the fractals? Fractals is when the one candle the the, uh, is, is, uh, the one fractal is uh, the structure of one fractal uh, has a five candles 
which is in the middle one is the highest one, the previous two is the lowest one, and next two is the lowest one. You remember that? So what this means? It means here you can see that highest candle, this uh, this one which on touched the 0.6 levels before, as we touch, we say right. This candle is the highest candle. Previous two is the lowest one. Is lowest one then the middle one, right? So this one and this candle. Let me deep dive a little bit, clean this so that you clearly can see. So here, this candle, so these two candles is lower than the uh, middle one. And the next two as well is a long, uh, lower than the middle one. So we can see clearly that it formed the fractal in the place where we need it's not because uh, that's the problem that a lot of people are using the fractals and they don't know because there's a market is works like a, as a fractals. Yes, I confirmed with that, but it works with the complex. We need to find those fractals in the zones with the other theories, not just a, oh, look at this. Here is a fractal and here is the fractal. No, we have a complex approach with, which matched with waves, fractals, Fibonacci's, MACD's and plus MVI combinations with volumes. I hope you understand what I mean over here. And this is my trading system. This is how I recognize all of those these waves. Okay, let's go. Uh, this fractal we find, this is called upper, right? Up, uh, which one looks up. So let's mark that one with this rectangle. So this one in the middle one, two previous one. So over here and two next one over here. Let's mark the zone, right? And let's find those two. One, two, yeah, exactly. And over here, yeah, like this. Okay, so uh, we have here upper uh, fractal, and we are looking for what right now? Down fractal. We need a sub fractal. Which one, for example, look, this is up we had here, right? This is up, this is up, and we need to find down, like such kind of. Do you understand? It's the same way as we are recognizing the middle one should to be lowest one, uh, previous two should to be higher than middle one, and next two should to be higher than middle one. That's all. This is how easy it is. But it's important that this fractal next, which one we are looking for, not be in the zone which one uh, is in the price zone of the signal fractal. So we mark this level over here with the green one. So let's find the fractal which one we are looking for. Here is no such a fractal because look at this. For example, this fractal previous two is not and next because this price is uh, lowest than the middle one. So here is no half of fractals, which one we're looking for. Yeah, here you can see this fractal, which one is, but this next next one is touch the zone of the price zone of the signal. It cannot be. So let's deep dive down, down, down. Here is no half of fractals. And we can see here clear fractal over this level. Here, the middle one, the middle candle, the lowest fractal, right? The previous two candle is highest than the middle uh, middle one, and the next two are highest than the middle one. That's all. We found the signal and we found the uh, start. Not start. The, the, this is the start. This is the signal. Uh, signal fractal. This is super strong condition, guys. I want to you remember. This is really really strong. Fractals are really strong in the trading in a complex approach, of course. So what we can see, this is officially is fractal down. Uh, so what does it mean? When we are combining the waves plus Fibonacci plus, um, plus fractals, we can see clearly that uh, fractals gave us start, fractals gave us signal. Right now we are expecting wave one, right? On the global scenario, if you remember, we are expecting the wave five, right? And we are expecting wave two. So basically, this is start. We can even wrote it right on that one. This is start. Let's make like this. This is a signal. Let me. Where is the t t t t t over here? This is the signal. Yeah. And what we can see. That's all we have. And this is called wedge. This is a wedge. We are not interesting about this. This wedge usually comes to 0 0.5, 0 0.6 levels. What does it mean? Wave two, of course. So if we're going to break down this level, uh, these waves, for example, by waves, right? Uh, why, for example, look at this. If we take like this, this is wave one, this is wave two, and wave three, four, five, we don't care yet. 
wave we are uh, trying to catch the wave three because this is makes uh, the most big money right <laughs> always the third wave is impulsive wave so uh, this is the answer why i not i'm not saying that wave one happened over here wave two happened over here yes if we check this wave five this is uh, this uh, wave one and this is wave two yeah wave two touched the point three level but we cannot see the formed on the daily time frame we cannot see fractal so basically this is not a wave two this is the conformation this is how i'm using the waves you i should you, you should to understand so this is why i see the start i see the signal that's all wave one finished now we are in a wedge Right now we are in a wedge, so basically we are in the second second wave. If we take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of the wave one, end of the wave uh, one over uh, this like this, we can see that we touch minimum level 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So minimum levels is 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and the most likely it comes 0 0.6, right? But in our scenario right now, we can see that we touch 0.3 levels already, right? Let's mark that levels, make it as a red because we are short the market. We're expecting the downtrend, right? Let's do like this, efficiency make like that. Yeah, like this. So this is the zone of high attention, what we are expecting as a wave two. So actually, I don't care already. Where I'm gonna, where is the most right time to enter, uh, enter the trade, right? Here, this wedge can go as deep as the 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0.6 levels, right? We touched the minimum levels for wave two already, so basically we can have all moral rights to say that wave two already have, and anytime soon it is possible that we will see some kind of wave, th impulsive wave three, right? So where we, are, when we are entering the positions. First of all, let me clean this scenario over here. And as we will break, let me mark new level over these levels. You see the minimum levels, uh, the, the minimum levels of this signal right over here. So as we will break, as we will break this level with a green MFI, it means some good green candle will happen, red candle in our scenarios. About the MFI, I'm gonna not talk about this is really difficult, everything. But as we will break this uh, these levels, we have all moral rights to enter the short positions, right? As well. So we can enter from these positions from the zone of high tension and treat it as a wave two and enter some uh, some positions over there and add some more positions, add more shorts from the levels around 25,200. We have all moral rights to short the market more. So first position you can open here, second position you can open here, right? And if you didn't open the, if the price didn't touch the $29,000, right? You can add more positions around as we will break this signal. Boom, We if we break over here, right? This signal, it gave us, we broke the start and we're expecting the fractals is working right this is how uh, how it works so basically uh our what is going on in the market right now market gave us start in the fractals got, gave us the signal on the fractals this is super strong condition and as we will broke if we will break these uh levels that's all we are ready to massively go downtrend and it most likely will happen the third impulsive wave so this is what we are expecting right now if you like my analysis and this analysis which I'm making to you to you today is really really useful and this is how the professional traders and the profitable traders analyze the market and doing some moves in the for uh, for their trading uh, uh, decisions, right? This is what I believe. This is what I trade, and this is what it works and consistently brings for me money. And these indicator are super strong and super super great. It's called fractals, and it's really hard to understand. But if you are interested about learning that, you are welcome to DM me, enter my Telegram club. I will talk talk about that, and I will educate the people uh, about that. So uh, that's what I'm talking about right now. We are in the second wave. We have a confirmation that wave one finished we are in a wedge and a confirmation that we are in a th second uh, second wave in which scenario it will be invalid of course if we break the start if the by uh, fractals we go higher than the start over here then our our all this stuff is invalid right we can say that our uh, analysis was wrong but right now everything goes harmoniously and we are expecting the third massive wave so if you like my analysis you are welcome to subscribe to my channel uh, enter my telegram club 
and I want to thank each one of you who is subscribing right now. We are already 500, nearly to 500. I never expected that we will be so many. Your support, your likes, your comments support me a lot. Thank you so much. I post the video every single day and you are welcome to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell to not miss any of them. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow and bye bye.